Well, folks, if you're thinking of buying an EV or maybe even a new car altogether, uh, you really want to watch this video before you buy anything new just at the moment. This is August 2022. Things are going to change big, big time within the next six months. I'm Ed, and this is EV Peasy. So we all know that technology moves on at a rapid rate, none more so in the electric vehicle world. Um, battery technology and range and chemical composition and, uh, and how they actually put the things together, the battery packs, it's all changing. Um, the last couple of days, um, CATL, C-A-T-L, uh, they are the largest battery electric vehicle um, battery supplier in the world. They corner about 35% of the market and they have been developing new pack technology. They call it cell to pack. This is the third generation of uh, the technology using blades effectively. It's not just that, it's energy density. That's the big key here. It's the kilowatt hours per kilo. If you can pack batteries into a tighter area and uh, make them lighter in the process, then you're on to a winner. So battery tech is moving on at a blistering pace. It wouldn't have been uh, that long ago if I mentioned to you a thousand kilometers range, um, I'd be laughed at. However, add to that a 10 to 80% charge in 10 minutes, and now you've got effectively internal combustion engine killing power. Uh, this could well see the end of the ICE engine. Um, it, it's, it's a game changer, folks. It really, really is. Imagine being able to pull into a, a fast charge station, plug in, quick handshake with the, uh, with the charger, and been able to add um, over 40 miles of range every minute. That's something like five minutes and over 200 miles of a range. Um, it's, it's just unbelievable. This is kind of sounding the death knell for the internal combustion engine. When you can move along, uh, people can, uh, can charge in just 10 minutes. It gets rid of queues at the charging stations. It gives you all the range that you'll ever need, only if the infrastructure can keep up with it all. This technology is already there and it will be in mass produced vehicles in the next six months. Now we'll get on to who's actually introducing these into their vehicles uh, a little bit later on in the video, but let's look at actually uh, what the technology is, a little bit about the company, and uh, you can figure out the reason why I'm uh, so excited about all of this. So they're, uh, they're calling it uh, Killin, uh, Q-I-L-I-N technology, or Killin Inside. Remember the old Intel Inside? Well, this is Killin Inside. They have reinvented how they're putting packs together. Uh, traditionally, you put a pack together by putting cells, uh, wiring them up internally, um, and then, uh, you know, individual cells make up packs, whether they be round or flat or, or whatever it happens to be. What they've managed to do here in this uh, third generation of pack technology, they are basically putting full width blades into the packs. They'll sit vertically, they'll sit closer together, and as a result of that, they can manage the, uh, the thermal efficiency and the thermal transfer uh, of the, the cells. Now, if you're new to EVs, you'll uh, realize that you can't fast charge until you precondition the battery. You need to be able to raise it up uh, temperature-wise in order for it to take the full charges. Um, you also get less battery efficiency in, low, uh, in colder weather. You need to thermally manage uh, the top end of things. Batteries typically don't like to be above 50 degrees centigrade. So that uh, needs to be all managed as well. They have, they have managed to put all this together increase the energy density to something like 72% of volume, which is just massive when you consider uh, the fact that they're, they're raising that from somewhere in the mid 50s uh, with round cell technology. Cato claim that the, uh, the pack technology is claimed to deliver 13% uh, more power by volume than te Tesla's brand new large cell. That's the 4680 large cell technology that they're, uh, they're putting into their own cars. I suppose they're fitting a, a round peg in a square hole. Uh, you're losing a little bit of that. They're probably filling it with resin and, uh, and such likes to uh, manage uh, the, the thermal aspect of things as well. So this uh, flat blade technology 
technology is really, really special. I can't express it um, enough that uh, this, is, this is a massive game changer. So let's get on to thermal management. Uh, you probably know already, but the ability to rapid charge uh, with destroying, without destroying the, uh, the delicate uh, chemical balance within the cell is all down to keeping the, uh, warming the battery up for rapid charging, except in the high current rates, and uh, not letting it overcook itself, therefore breaking down the chemical composition within the batteries. Um, so you need to basically uh, be able to warm your battery up to charge it. You need to keep it cool um, sh during charging and obviously um, using, the, uh, using the maximum output um, whilst driving. Not necessarily so much of an issue these days. A new battery they claim is four times the surface area of the old ones for cooling purposes. That means that with four times the area, the, uh, the cooling ability is greatly, greatly enhanced. Um, and that's what it's all about, is providing surface area for, um, for thermal management. So if you can pack more cells into a certain volume, if you can thermally manage the pack more efficiently, and if you can charge at a rapid rate whilst keeping it safe, that's all a triple whammy, folks. It's, um, it's unbelievable. So range, charging, speed and safety. What more do you want? Cadle already have agreements uh, to supply Tesla in uh, Giga Beijing for their Model 3. They have agreements in place for Hyundai Mobis, which are the parent group um, for, of course, Hyundai, Kia, uh, and uh, Genesis. They have agreements in place for Fisker, for their new Fisker Ocean. Um, they have uh, future agreements uh, coming up for uh, BMW, Volkswagen, um, and Audi. To think that uh, this battery technology will effectively be such wide ranging, and you need to then ask yourself, do you really need that new electric car in the next six months? Or can you get away with the fact that you're gonna just uh, lease it instead of buying it? Because really nobody wants kind of yesterday's Betamax versus VHS. You don't want to be held with your Betamax recorder because it went out of uh, popularity. Uh, very, very quickly. If you're old enough to remember that, you'll know what that is all about. If not, have a little Google. So just yesterday, uh, Catel announced that the first manufacturers to receive uh, are a company called uh, Zeker. Zeker are Chinese owned. They've sold many tens of thousands of vehicles already uh, there. Um, the first vehicles to receive the, uh, the killing inside is the Zeker 9, which is like an MPV, slab-sided MPV vehicle. Uh, the next one uh, to receive it will be the Zeker 1, and that's probably the 1,000 kilometers range that they're um, alluding to in their previous uh, statements. Um, it is kind of, they call it a, uh, a modern interpretation of the shooting brake, um, and it actually looks really, really nice, I have to say. Now, uh, Zeker, you might not know them. They're part of the Geely Group. Um, effectively, the Zeker um, is a remodeling of the Lincoln Co Zero um, that was announced. Um, if you haven't heard of their other brands, Geely have been around for a while. But get this, folks, they own everything from um, Lotus through to Volvo and Polestar, um, amongst others. So they're a big player in this game. So I would have thought you're going to start seeing uh, this technology um, being spread across um, a lot of the market, especially when uh, Catel open uh, their big European plants as well. I would suspect that the first thousand mile range will be in the Zika one. So effectively, I don't know whether they're going to be sold in Europe and their intention is to um, look into the European market as well. So we might actually see uh, the Zika one um, as a, uh, a Lincoln Co product. So for the, uh, the Chinese market initially, but uh, given the group and the size of the group, it's most likely that they're going to look into expanding uh, that Zika product into, uh, into Europe.
So with that being said, it probably won't be long before you see Killian inside uh, models from the more uh, mainstream uh, companies in the Geely group, as well as uh, Hyundai and Fisker group. So you're talking EV6s, Ionic 5s, uh, GV60s and the likes. So all that remains to be seen is if they can integrate um, this kind of rapid charging uh, capability into infrastructures going forward. Um, obviously, most of the um, ionity charges that are available are 350 kilowatts. I would have thought that uh, perhaps the 350 uh, kilowatt DC charging ability um, is going to, you know, we're going to max out the chargers with this new uh, capability. So before you go and buy that new vehicle, have a think. Personally, I've still got uh, Skoda VRS on, on order. Um, I've got a Fisker Ocean we held back. I think uh, the Ocean Ultra is going to be right for us. And that's probably going to be the tail end of 23, if not 2024, before we get that. Um, so I would hope, crossing my fingers, that with the Fisker, we're going to get some sort of uh, integration with this new technology. Um, with the Skoda, it's a four year lease. I'm not that bothered, uh, provided it's okay for our purposes right now. So that's the decisions you gotta make. Do you, do you hold off another six months, wait and see what's happening as far as this new technology is concerned? Uh, but what we're really starting to see here is the death of the internal combustion engine here for, uh, for new cars. We now have the capability, we've got the range, we've got the charging ability that you just go in and plug it in and it's clean. We're not pumping anything into the air. So you know what, whilst I'm a huge petrol head, um, I'm an automotive realist. I'm enjoying my ICE engines for probably as long as I, I can, but I'm grasping the future as well, and I realize that's where it lies. So if you've liked this, if you find it interesting, hit the old uh, like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's a brand new venture uh, for me, uh, for this particular YouTube channel. You'll find me on other ones as well, more uh, ICE stuff uh, on that one. Uh, and if you're new to electric vehicles, what you've got to consider with home charging and solar and, and with all the prices rising, is it really uh, economical to run an electric vehicle in this particular climate with these particular uh, kilowatt hour charges in the UK? Okay, well, that's it for now. Until the next time, all the best now. Bye-bye.